why no one is showing up to your events and how we're going to change all of that. That's what's happening today on Ed Talk TV, conversations worth having. Let's jump in. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to Ed Talk TV, conversations worth having. I'm your host, Ed Troxel, digital marketer. And if we haven't met before, well, hello. Say hello to me. I want to see you, even if you're watching the replay and we're streaming on Facebook and Instagram. Hey, Carrie, I see you over on Instagram. So today we're going to talk about why no one is showing up to your events. And I'm going to give you a resource on what to do about that because you made it. these events happen. You put in a lot of time, a lot of work, and I will tell you, I know firsthand because I do this all the time. And I'm going to share a story with you guys real quick about an event this weekend. I'm not going to name any names, but it's a great teachable moment for us all to review what happened because it affects you. Yes, you. So if you are thinking about an event, maybe you've already put on an event for your business, and I'm talking about any business. You guys, I see this all the time. This is for restaurant owners. This is for uh, online uh, businesses only. Everyone, if you have a business and you are going to be marketing an event, you need to pay attention because this is what is killing me, what I'm seeing out there, and I want to help you guys, and I have a solution for you, so stay with me. So here's, here's the story. Imagine this. Imagine you were hosting an event this past weekend, and it was Saturday night, and you were trying to get people together. Let's say it's a singles event and you wanted to get people out and just have a good time, right? So you decide, hey, we're throwing an event and we'll be there. We'll be at the venue. And maybe you post about it somewhere. And then the night comes, Saturday night comes, and you have crickets. Where is everyone? Like, nobody's here. What? And then you wonder why nobody showed up to the event. And then you think back, okay, well... I, I created the event, I, I put a, ta a date, a time, and a location, I showed up at the location, I post about it once, maybe twice, how come nobody's here? It's because nobody knows about your event. You, you didn't go through the proper steps to marketing it effectively online. It's not just about social media. There's other places. And so what I want you to understand from this story, and, and this is something that really happened over the weekend, I went to an event being optimistic, hoping that it was going to be more than what I thought it would be, and realized that it wasn't. You guys, I didn't even get out of the car. Well, to be honest, I did get out of the car, but I didn't get to the front door of the event. Why? because I could see that it was dead. It was completely dead. And trust me, I did my research prior to going in. I, listen, I look every weekend at what events are going on in the area. So if you're a local business in my area, in your area, pay attention, any business owner, I'm trying to help you guys out. So if you are um, looking for things to do, right, where do you go? You tell me, where do you go to look for events. Even if you're watching the replay, if you're on Instagram, just DM me. It's all good. But where do you go when you're looking for events? And this could be from painting classes to going out on the weekends to dinner parties. It doesn't matter. Anything that you're trying to do, where do you go to look for that event? You tell me and I want, will check in with you even on the replay. So this weekend when I did my research, I looked for the singles event. I noticed that it didn't show up in my most common spots that I check. So I was like, okay, that's interesting. And then I did my research and I kind of looked at the venue to see if they posted about it. There was no post about that. And I just thought, you know, this is not going to end well. And it didn't. And here's the thing. This is what breaks my heart, you guys, is that you, the event coordinator, the, the host of the event, you are going through 
the time, money, and energy to put this event on. And then when it comes down to marketing it, it's just kind of like, okay, that's it. We did something. Or, or you get an assistant or somebody to say, hey, I just need you to post this. Just go ahead and throw it up on social. It's fine. That, that's not going to cut it. There's steps that you have to take. There's places you need to be. And so I'm going to help you guys out with that. Hopefully that this video helps you understand that it's more to just setting a date. It's more than just picking a, a, a location. Like you have to do the work in order to get people to know about your event. And not only that, but to get them into your event. You can't just put on an event and, and say, okay, they're going to come. It's just like when you build a website. Or when you have this great business idea and you're like, hey, I, I, I built it, now, now everyone will come. Nope, doesn't work like that. Same thing with your event. And if you are one of those business owners who says, okay, yeah, Ed, but I am posting about my event and, and I have it in a few different places, so I'm good. I don't need to worry about this. Let me swipe to the next video. You're wrong. You're wrong. Because I guarantee you there's still something you can learn from me in my upcoming workshop on Friday. So I'm going to share that with you guys. In You'll see that on social and there'll be a link if you need it on Instagram, just DM me. But there's a workshop, a live workshop. There'll be a replay for all the attendees. So if you can't make it, that's fine. But I put it on Friday so that way, hopefully more of you will be able to make it. But I'm gonna show you exactly where you need to be putting your events and the steps that you need to go through in order to maximize your exposure online without paying for ads. That's the key. It's nothing about paying for ads. It's about utilizing the tools and resources you have available for you right here online to market your event effectively to get more people into your event, which then creates more connections and creates more what? Sales, yes. So understand that this is so important and, and I don't know if I'll do this live workshop on a regular basis or it, what will come of it, but because I've seen this on a regular basis, I decided, you know what, I'm going to just put a workshop together and just do it. It's online, so even if you're not in my area, you can still show up and, and learn something new. I guarantee you're going to learn something and be saying to yourself, wow, I had no idea I could do X. That's what I'm going to show you. So let me know, even if you're watching the replay, um, it, what your thoughts are, and also tell me what where you go to look for events. And if you need that link for the signups, it's over on my website, but if you need it, I'll DM it to you or private message you on Facebook, whatever it works. But show up. This is, this is like for you in a package, in a pretty package ready for you guys. And if you know a business owner that needs this, let them know. Tag them, share it out with them because it's super important. And... Uh, I, I don't know how much more I can tell you guys that this is what is going to help you with maximizing your exposure online for your next event. So I hope that that's helpful and that you guys have had a great week, weekend I should say, and that you'll have a good week this week. There's lots of stuff going on here at Ed Troxel Creative. We got the uh, workshop on Friday. Uh, if we back up on Thursday, we have the launch of season two, the Yes Entrepreneurship podcast. Super excited. We have a whole lineup of amazing guests, entrepreneurs, who are sharing their stories with you, and you are just going to be blown away from their entrepreneur journey, how they handle their business, how they handle life, and just everything in between. So be sure to check in on that as well. It will be in all the places that you listen to your podcast, as well as yesentrepreneurship.com. So if you guys need anything else, please let me know. Just message me and we'll go from there. All right, guys, have a great week and I will talk to you later. Take care. Oh, I want all my